So last year, one of the main components that I used in making my own compost was horse manure. And the problem that I ran into is that a lot of fields that horses eat from and hay that they're fed from um, is sprayed with um, a lot of broadleaf herbicides that are meant to kill all plants in that field that have broad leaves. Well, unfortunately, most of my garden has broad leaves. Pretty much everything but corn is a broad leaf plant. Anyway, the herbicide passes right through the animal, goes into the manure, and long story short, it killed all of my tomato plants last year because it was still in the manure that I made my compost from. So anyway, fast forward to this year, and I don't want that to happen again. So I just bought compost from a local place that uh, makes it from cow manure, and I'm testing it to make sure that I'm not gonna have any of the issues I did last year. So what I did uh, was I planted peas in all of these pods. Now half of these pods are filled with just bagged soil mix or uh, the potting soil mix that I bought from the store. And the other half are filled with half of that mixed with half of the new compost. So I'm gonna compare the results of these as they grow. And uh, once there are three or four sets of leaves, then I can look at the plants and see if there are any differences. And if there aren't, then I know the compost is good to go and I can finish planting out and building all the new beds I have planned for the spring. But I don't wanna do that until I make sure that this compost is not gonna uh, kill all my plants because that was, that was pretty disheartening last year when that happened to me. So this is an update on the peas that we're using for the compost test. They've mostly all sprouted now and they are pretty close to being at the point where I'm, I'm ready to call this test successful. Um, all the leaves look identical among the plants. I don't see any issues. Um, so it looks like this compost is good to go. One thing to note is I might, I might wait just one or two more days just to make sure that some of these new leaves coming out here don't develop any abnormalities because normally at least last year with the beans that I saw injury issues with, the first two or three sets of leaves were fine. It was the, you know, sometimes the third or fourth or fifth set after that that showed symptoms. So, although I feel like it's it's pretty good, uh, I'm gonna wait just at least one more day maybe just to make sure that these here uh, fully develop. So it's now been about three weeks since we started our test and I think I am ready to say that this compost is good to go. Uh, there's pretty much no differences between the plants. Some of them didn't germinate, but that's not the compost fault. Um, this one here looks like a cutworm or something. Got it, again, not the compost fault. So um, these plants have several sets of true leaves and they all look good. So I'm ready to call this compost good and start using it. So I know this may seem like a lot to go through, but I promise it's worth it. You don't want to poison your garden like I did last year. So if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please like it, share it, um, send it to anyone you think might be interested. Thanks for watching.